Hi, I'm Anthony. While me and my friend Ellie were working for the Erasmus project, we wanted to know how we could study the rotation of Saturn and the movement of its rings from Earth. So, we were given a spectrum of Saturn and its rings, made by a spectrograph of the Haute-Provence Observatory on the 24th of July 1962. To perform a calibration of the wavelengths in nanometers, it's framed by an iron emission spectrum obtained under the same conditions. In order to study it, we used a software called SALSA-J. We began by finding the equivalence between the number of pixels and the wavelengths. In our case, it was 1.218 nanometers equals 116 pixels. When you look at the spectrum of Saturn, you notice that the lines are not vertical. In fact, the bottom is red shifted and the top is blue shifted. That is because the top was taken from one side of the planet, whereas the bottom was taken from the opposite side. According to the Doppler effect, it means that A is moving towards us and that B is moving away from us. In order to quantify that shift, we measured the pixel corresponding to PA and the pixel corresponding to PB. We found PA equals 257 and PB equals 263. Then we calculated the difference in wavelengths between PA and PB and found 0.06 nanometers. We, we knew that that difference was also equal to four times the reference wavelength times the surface speed of Saturn divided by the speed of light. Thanks to this information, we isolated and calculated the surface speed of Saturn and found 10,000 meters per second. We also knew that that speed was also equal to two times pi times the radius of Saturn divided by its rotation period. So, this time we isolated and calculated Saturn's period and found 40,000 seconds, which is a little bit more than 11 hours. The precise period of Saturn is 10 hours and 42 minutes, but our result, 11 hours, was still quite accurate for something found in a classroom. Our next task was to de determine the nature of Saturn's rings. There were two possibilities. If the shift of the outer edges compared to the reference line had been greater than the shift of the inner edges, then the speed of the outer edges would have been greater than the speed of the inner edges. In that case, the rings would have been a solid body secured to Saturn. However, we found that it was the opposite case. Compared to the reference line, the shift of the inner edges of the rings was greater than the shift of the outer edges, so the speed of the inner edges of the rings was greater than the speed of the outer edges, which means that the rings are composed of dust. As you can see, it's pretty simple to study Saturn and its rings without going into space. Just by studying a spectrum and using our knowledge about the Doppler effect, we were able to find the rotation period of Saturn, the speed of its surface, and even the nature of its rings.